At this point, I would like to welcome the servant of God, our Father, Dr. Light, to take us on with the word for us tonight in Jesus' name. Over to you, sir. Amen and amen. Thank you amen. so much, Program Director. The Lord bless you, Ma. And uh, Sister Annette, thank you so much for those vigorous prayers. Um, at the end of this segment, I'll ask the, the Program Director to bless the communion this evening. So, Mama Tandy, you get ready for that. I welcome everyone here to the evening segment of a special day in this journey, day number eight, day number eight. And this meeting is going to take a very unusual dimension. It's a warfare meeting. It's a warfare. This particular evening is warfare. You know, by virtue of the seat I'm sitting on, God speaks to me because of the situation of his people, because of what is going on among his people. This evening is going to be a warfare against every form of witchcraft and bewitchment. Sure. It is a day of warfare, warfare against, it is war, war, vengeance, vengeance against witchcraft, vengeance against witchcraft. Now, I want you to get yourself in tune like a man of war, like somebody who's going to war, who is going for war. But please understand, we are not fighting from the, the, from the, from the place of, 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 uh, of, of, what is it? We are fighting from the place of victory. That's what I want to say. Mm -hmm. We are fighting from the victory point. We are fighting from the victory point. The, 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 the result is already known. The result is already known. And the result is clear. Say, it shall be ill with the wicked. It shall be well with the righteous. And it shall be ill with the wicked. In as much as God wants all the wicked to be saved, as you know, one of the unique things God has given to Global Harvest Prayer Network is his compassion for the wicked. Compassion for the lost. But the other side of God says that God is a God of vengeance. He's a God of judgment. His mercies endure forever, yet he is a consuming fire. He is a consuming fire. He's a consuming fire. So we are going to make a declaration in the heavens, on the earth, in the sea, in the land, in the moon, in the sun, in the star tonight, against every correlation every gang up, every gathering, every satanic device programming that is aiming at making no sense of this great program God has for you, this great program God has with your family, this agenda of God that is going to make Christ draw a deep breath of relief, a deep breath of relief. And he looks at you and looks at me and says, even if I don't have any other person, at least I have this woman, I have this man. Because of your un, unalloyed submission to his will and divine alignment to his complete will and program so that he can use you as a vessel to glorify himself. So I want us to begin by praying in tongues. Just unmute yourself, begin to pray in the language of the spirit because we are entering into a war zone that we make Christ to smile, that we put the devil to flight, that we put the devil to shame. Begin to blast in tongues. Charge up your spirit, man, by praying in the Holy Ghost. If you do not pray in tongues, begin to call that name Jesus, Lord of Jesus, Lord of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Commit yourself, servant of God. Let him have a dinner. 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 Let him have a dinner.
Thank 
Jesus mighty and we pray. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Psalm chapter 2. I read from verse 1. It says, Oh Lord, how are they? Sorry. Psalm chapter 2. It says, Why do the hidden rage? And the people imagine a bent thing. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord. And against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bonds asunder and cast away their cords from us. He that seated in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath. And vex them, vex them in his sore displeasure. This night the Lord wants to speak to his adversaries. He wants to address them. He wants to address them in his wrath. Address his adversaries in his wrath. Jesus, he wants to address his adversaries. He wants to address them in his wrath. He wants to rebuke them. And I hope you are aware that when God wants to do good, he uses people. When God wants to ex ex declare or declare or unleash his wrath, want to express his displeasure, his sore displeasure. When God wants to pass a message, he uses people. That's why the Bible says we are his battle acts. We are the weapons of his warfare. We are his battle acts, the weapons of his warfare. With you, he will crush nations. He will destroy nations. He will destroy kingdom. He will destroy forces that exalt themselves against the plan of God. We are God's battle axe. And tonight, God wants to use his battle axe to fight the battle. He said, why do men, why do men, why do the hidden rage against, 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 against the almighty? Why do the kings of the earth imagine evil against the one that made them? Against his program, against his plan, planning, Amen. devices, Amen. Evil devices bad or bad or bad. that Amen. they will gang up to stop what God is doing. Any force of hell, the Bible says, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against spiritual wickedness in high places, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. That's what we wrestle against. Ephesians. Chapter 6, verse number 12. Now, we want to make ourselves available, available for the Lord to use us tonight to make war against the gang up of the forces of hell that does not want his plan to prosper. God has a plan for your life. God has a plan for your family. God has a plan for your city. God has a plan for your nation. God has a plan. God has a plan. Do I have people at the background? Can you mute the person making noise, please? I thought there are co-hosts in this place. 
Axel, no me acuerdo de la mitad, es lo que llama. Somebody mute the person making noise, please. Mute the person and put up the video. Brother Fred, oh, please mute your mic. Brother Fred, oh, please mute your mic. Okay, I've put him in the waiting room. Sorry, Pastor Light. Can I unmute, Pastor? Father, we give thanks to you. We give you praise. Please remove that person. Bronzi, remove him, put him in the waiting room, and don't admit him again. Don't admit him again, please. Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you praise. We give you glory and honor and praise. So, the point is, this night, God is out for war. There is the mercy side of God and there is the war side of God. He describes himself as a man of war. And like you know, we are not talking of warring with humans. We are talking about warring against the forces of wickedness that are working contrary to God's agenda to cripple, to frustrate, to stop, and to disarm God's agents like you and I and the program of God globally. And that is what we want to do here even now. So I want us to begin to pray. Oh God, arise and use us to rebuke your adversary. He says, the Lord, that's the one that's seated in the heaven, shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Tonight, Lord, have them in derision. Have them in derision. Let them be disgraced. Let them be disappointed. That does not want my, 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 my success. That does not want the fulfillment of my calling, my destiny, my mission on earth. I am referring to you and your family and everyone here. Oh God, arise and let them be disarmed. Shall we begin to pray? Please unmute somebody and begin to pray. Pray in the spirit. Pray in your understanding. Pray with any language you choose. Walk in the world. In the Thank you.
fear. Hallelujah. Look at that, verse 5, verse 5. He said, then shall he speak unto them in his, in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. Vex them, vex them. Can you give me a different translation of that, verse 5? The Lord God of heaven will vex any gang up, any force of the enemy. He said, then he gets good and angry. He said, then he gets good and angry. Fur furiously, he shuts them down. Oh God, furiously shut down every army, every man, every woman, every system, every system, everything that has been organized, organized, planned out against you, against your family, against your marriage, against your health, against your business, against your career, against your children, against your wife and husband, oh God, furiously vex them and shut them down. He says, then he will speak to them in his profound anger and terrify them with his displeasure, displeasure, terrify them that want to stop your plan and your program. The great things God has planned for this last six months of the year, any force, anyone that want to walk against it, oh God, terrify them, terrify them, vex them in the name of Jesus. Shut them down. Shall we begin to pray? In the name of Jesus, Use your device power by God to destroy any argument, any lofty opinion, anything that comes up against me that's knowledge of God. Oh my God, I'm in love. God, use your authority, your power by God. Let us be graced by God. If you use the right tools, the most important ones, bring a power to play a role in my life for the mighty name of the capital of our mind. God, Hallelujah. Look at Psalm 40, 94, verse 1 and verse 2. Psalm, Psalm 40, 94, Psalm 40, 94, rather, from verse 1 to verse 2. It, this evening is, is vengeance, vengeance night, vengeance night against every wickedness, against every bewitchment, against every sorcery. He said, oh Lord, oh Lord God, to whom vengeance belongs, oh God, to whom vengeance belongs, vengeance belongs, show yourself, show yourself, arouse yourself, arouse yourself. Look at verse number two. He said, lift up thyself, O Lord, thou judge of the whole earth, and reward and reward and, and render a reward to the proud, the proud, the arrogant, the wicked, them, those, you know, there are people who do wickedly intentionally, who intentionally seek to conceive wickedness and they carry it out, and with delight, they want to see the righteous being tormented and afflicted. They said, God, arise, arise, show yourself. God, show yourself. The God of vengeance, show yourself. The God of vengeance, show yourself. Show yourself enough of the wickedness of the wicked, enough of the wickedness of the wicked. When the saints cry out for God to show his vengeance, Herod is destroyed. Herod is destroyed. Peter would have, Herod would have continued to terrorize the, 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 the saints until God arose and he, God 
rises into action when the saints rise up and say, no, we won't let it be anymore. Let there be God's supernatural intervention to interrupt the wickedness of the wicked and to rescue the righteous. This prayer we're praying we salvage somebody's situation tonight, beginning with you that is doing the prayer and your family and the people around you and everybody in this meeting. What is our prayer? Oh Lord, God of vengeance, show yourself, lift up yourself, thou judge of the whole earth, and render a reward to the proud. Shall we begin to pray? I know you know what this prayer is talking about. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. God, Jesus Servant of God, please follow me to Psalm 68. Psalm 68. Oh my God. The God of vengeance. Show yourself. Let it be known among the proud, among the wicked, that the God of this woman has arisen. The God of this man has arisen to vindicate him, to fight for him. In the name of Jesus, Saduna Sepratar, Psalm 68, verse number one. Thank you, Father. Malusiente, he says, let God arise, let his enemies be scattered, and let, let them also that hate him flee, flee, flee before him. Let them flee before him. Different translation, different translation. Say, so let God, oh God, let God, let God arise, let God arise, let God arise. He said, thank you, Jesus. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Let those who hate him flee before him. When God arise in his fury, be changing the translations. When God arise in his fury, his enemies will run. When God arise in his wrath, in his sword displeasure, his adversaries will run. He says, lift Thank you, Lord Jesus. It's a, a David Psalm. Up with God, down with the enemy. Adversaries run for 
run for the hills. Okay, so I want us to pray, God arise. God arise. God arise. He said, let God arise. Let God arise and let his enemy be scattered. Let the enemies be scattered. He said, let them also that hate him, that hate him. Anybody that hate God hates you. Anybody that hates you hates God. Anyone that hates God hates you. He said, God, arise up. God rises up and scatters his enemy. Those who hate him runs away in, in, in defeat. Let this scripture be fulfilled in your life. That the adversaries, anyone that hates what God is doing with you, anyone that hates what God is doing with you, and what God has started to do in every family, in every nation that is connected to this nation, anyone that hates it, that wants it to stop, let God arise and scatter them, scatter their altar, scatter their kingdom, scatter their kingdom, scatter their altar. In the name of Jesus Christ, let God set them, let them run for their life. Let God terrorize them so that they will run for their lives. Shall we begin to pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm standing here this hour yeah. to the declare to the heavens. Yes. To declare to the heavens. To declare to the heavens. God arise. God arise. God arise. Oh God. Arise in the land. Arise on the land. Arise in the land. Arise in the land. Arise in the land. Arise in the land. Arise the land. Arise in the land. Arise in the land. Arise in the land. Look at the two. Look at the two. He said, As smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As wax melted before the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of the Lord. The presence of the Lord. God, saturate my life with your presence. Saturate my life with your presence. So that the wicked that walk against you and walk against me and my mission and purpose, let them, let them perish. Let the wicked melt away. Let the wicked melt away. Let the wicked melt away. Because of their wickedness. Because of their wickedness. Either they repent or they melt away. They repent or melt away. Lord, arise in your fury to terrorize them like wax melt before the fire. Let them melt in repentance or in disaster. Let them melt in repentance or in destruction. Shall we go ahead and make that prayer? Father, Let's 
Please unmute Pastor Light. Oh, sorry, I didn't unmute it. I say, give us some 20, I mean, Numbers 23, verse 23. Numbers 23, 23. It says, surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. No, give it to us in good news, please. In good news. In good news. Numbers 23, verse 23. The good news translation of it. Meanwhile, let me read the King James. King James says, surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. You will put your name there. Neither is there any divination against Israel. According to this time, it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel, what did God wrought? Glory to God. The good news says, there is no magic charm, no witchcraft that can be used against the nation of Israel. <clears throat> now, people will say about Israel, Look what God has done. Look what God has done. Look what God has done. He said, there is no magic enchantment, nor witchcraft against me, against you. He says, what can be said that that can be that can be used against, against, against me as a man, against you as a woman, against you as a man. He said, now people will say about me, about you. Come and see what God has done. So where people were looking, waiting to see your disgrace and your downfall, to their greatest surprise, they will, be on, they will only be hearing, see what God has done for him. See what God has done for her. Look at that. Every day, every week, every day, every week, every month, something new is happening. Something great is happening. Amazing events are taking place. Great happenings. Mighty moves of God. God is doing great things. That is your story. That is my story. From this July to August to September, October, November, December, shall we begin to pray. No bewitchment shall prevail against you. In any, I want to listen. This matter, I won't tell you the, the revelation I had that brought about this. So any bewitchment against anybody that is connected to you, fire will consume that witch. Fire will consume that wizard. Fire will consume that occultist. The judgmental arrow of God will go with a flaming fire to destroy every altar of witchcraft and bewitchment and source and divination that is against you and against your dream, against your purpose, against the plan of God for you. Shall we begin to pray? Instead of you being cast down, People will be hearing, see what God has done. See what God has done. See what God has done. In the yes. name of Jesus, my father. Jesus. 
in jesus mighty name we pray hallelujah the devil is in trouble him and all his agents they are being taken by surprise. They are taken by surprise. As we are making this prayer, armies of God are being released. Armies are being released to carry out what you are declaring. You shall decree it and it shall be established and the light shall shine on your way. As we are decreeing, angels are going into action. Angels carry out what we decree. They carry out what we decree. So please take it very serious. You know, the Bible tells us in Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17. Let's go into that. We are going to use it to fight this battle to finish, even today. He said, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that, that riseth in judgment, that riseth in judgment against thee, against thee, against thee, that riseth in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Any weapon that is thoughtfully, intelligently planned, fashioned, designed to capture you. You know, the enemy studies people. He knows people's weakness. He knows the weapon to use against Sister A and the weapon to use against Sister you know, B. Because you know, if I use this weapon against this one, I can't succeed because she is strong there. So he knows the area to target somebody. So he fashions a weapon in that area of one's weakness. He watched Jesus to know when he was very hungry, then he appeared. You know you are hungry now. You are so tired. You need food. You need food. So he comes to you at the time of your, in the area of your weakness, at, at, at a moment somebody seems to be vulnerable. That's when he comes. I want us to pray today. This prayer is going to work for you from now to the end of this year, from now every day, every week, every month of this year and beyond. And what is the prayer? Every weapon formed, planned, devised, designed, created for your downfall against you to discredit God's plan, to put you into disgrace and shame. Because of what the Lord is doing, he said, it shall not prosper. And any tongue that rises in judgment against thee, you shall condemn it. You shall condemn it. 
This is your heritage as a servant of God. So shall we begin to pray? I want you to speak into the mountains, speak into the valley, speak into the ocean, speak into the sea, speak into the moon, the sun Jesus, and star, speak everywhere. Hand. In the name of Jesus, Father, I declare in all the of the, the kingdom, the all the presence of the Lord the Jesus Christ, and by the blood of Jesus, I speak to you, Lord, I speak to Jesus, I speak to you, Lord, I speak to you, Lord, I speak to you, Lord, I speak to you, Hallelujah. We are taking it to another level. Isaiah 49. Isaiah 49. From verse 24 to verse 25. Isaiah 49. 24 to 25. Thank you, Father. He says, shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive, lawful captive delivered. But thus says the Lord, even the captive of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with them that contend against thee and I will save thy children. I will save thy children. I will save thy children. I know that nothing torments, nothing pains a woman, a mother, as much as her child being in the wrong place, doing, living the wrong life, being a captive of negative forces. It tortures mothers. Most of you here are women. We're going to cry out unto the Lord. No force will take your child. No power will capture your child. Those who seem to have been captured by any negative force, tonight they shall be rescued. Tonight they shall be snatched. He says, shall the prey be taken from the mighty or a lawful captive delivered? Yes. They may have done something that demand or for which they, they deserve to be in captivity, in bondage, in reproach, in shame. But this is why we call it river of mercy, river of grace and fire. Let the river of mercy flow to every man, every woman, every family, every household. Let the river of mercy reach out. Let the river of grace Reach out. Remember, 
We say that mercy is when God cancels judgment that somebody deserves. When God suspends judgment, somebody has done something that yes, this child, this person need to be need to need to be need to be tortured, tormented, and because a mother is here crying, because a father is here crying, the mercy of God intervenes to say it's okay. Judgment stop. Judgment stop. Judgment stop. Because the mercy of God triumphs over judgment. And it is grace when that child that is supposed to suffer for life, and then God shows him or her grace, and grace uplifts her, uplifts him, and gives him a position, gives her a position she never deserved. That is the grace of God. And the river of fire is coming to melt down the walls of a yoke, the walls of bondage, the walls of prison, the prison walls, the prison gate, the fire of God melts them down so that that captive boy, that captive girl, that captive woman, that captive man, that captive wife, that captive husband be set free. He says, for, but thus says the Lord, even the captive of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey, the prey of the terrible shall be delivered, for I will contend with them that contend against you, and I will deliver your children. Servant of God, I want us to cry unto God. Oh God, arise and contend with them that contend against me. Contend with them. Contend war against them in the name of Jesus Christ and savage my children. Shall we begin to pray somebody? My God, le mandesete le brata le lanzia le brado sientra. in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord God men with us Shall we begin to give thanks to the Lord? I want you to see yourself and all the people you represent. 
recovering, recovering everything that was that was withheld from them as a result of witchcraft manipulation, witchcraft oppression. Mm -hmm. Having executed judgment against them, having cried unto God, I want you to see. Now, in fact, I want us to pray that prayer. Now, let there be a return. Let there be a recovery. Let there be a restoration of everything that belonged to me or belonged to that woman or belonged to that man that has been restrained from him or her, that has been robbed or stolen from him or her as a result of witchcraft, satanic activity. There shall be no enchantment, there shall be no divination, there shall be no witchcraft against him, against her anymore from today. Shall we begin to pray? No more witchcraft oppression, mm -hmm. no more divination, no more sorcery. Mm -hmm. Now let there be a return, a return of everything they stole. Let there be a return. begin to thank God for every man on this platform begin to thank God for the recovery there is an end there is an end to witchcraft oppression in the life of people in this meeting tonight and there is a recovery of all that we are withheld, stolen, diverted as a result of the witchcraft oppression. Shall we begin to thank God? It has happened for me. It has happened for you. It has happened for you. Shall we begin to thank him? Thank him. Thank him. My God. The just hear this word pray against witchcraft in the government of your land. Pray against witchcraft oppression in the government of your land. I want you to just declare that. We have warred against the altar of witchcraft. The altar of witchcraft. Let's call down the fire of God to consume every altar of witchcraft. Altar. We are the gang of their COVID. They are COVID. Let the fire of God consume them. Consume them. Destroy them. Destroy them. Silence them. That are affecting the leadership of your city, the leadership of your company, the leadership of your nation. Shall we make that declaration? Let the fire of God hit the altar of witchcraft that is affecting that region and silence it. Shall we pray, Father, in the name of Jesus? Father, in the name of God. And we declare that there will be an explosion, an explosion, an explosion, an explosion, an explosion, explosion of judgment, 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 judgment,
Jesus mighty name we pray. Father, we stretch out our hands for the portion of the evening portion of day eight of this 14-day fast. We stretch out our hands, O oh Lord, for the evening portion. You have granted us privilege to receive the portion of the first day, portions of the second day, portions of the third day, portions of the fourth day, portions of the fifth day, portions of the sixth day, portions of the seventh day. We are here receiving the full package, the full package of the portions of the eighth day that we might stand strong for the journey that is set before us, that we might stand strong to run like a, that men of war, like men of war, fulfilling the prophecy of Joel chapter 2, a mighty army rising, a mighty army, their likes has never been, and there will never be any like them after several generations. Father, here we are, an army that fire bonnet before them. Anywhere they go is fire. They, before them is, is the garden of Eden, and behind them is desert, is the wilderness. Father, anywhere we go, fire is going with us, because we have become, yes, agents and ambassadors and representatives of the almighty God, the one who dwells in the midst of unapproachable fire, the one from whose throne, from whose throne river of fire flows, from whose throne river of fire flows, the one from whose throne uh, living water, living water, living water flows, living water flows uh, to water the dry lands, to water dryness, to terminate dryness, to give hope to the hopeless, to give comfort to the weary, to wipe the tears of people and to clean people up. Father, we come to tap into the flow of the river. We come into the river to drink, to drink uh, that out of our belly shall flow rivers, out of our belly shall flow rivers, 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 rivers of living water, rivers of living water, giving life to people everywhere by words and by action, giving life in the name of Jesus. We are here this eighth day to drink from the abundance of the river of fire, the river of fire that out of our mouth shall bring produce fire. Out of our mouth, fire shall come. Out of our eyes, fire shall come. Out of our hands, fire shall come. Wherever the soul of our feet shall tread, fire shall spark there. Nagia, 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 Laria, Duziana, Tale, Ziana, Kadia, Sunantesa. Father, we thank you. And for this, God, we decree that no witchcraft oppression will escape this meeting. 
every witchcraft activity is hereby dissolved by fire in the name of Jesus. Every witchcraft bondage and yoke is hereby melted completely in the name of Jesus. And whatever the witchcraft oppression have hindered your sons and daughters from accessing, hereby door is open. Door is open. Access what they hindered you from accessing. Possess what they hindered you from possessing. Receive what they hindered you from receiving. Rise to highs the hindered that you from rising to take what belongs to you they have stopped you from taking receive it receive it receive it receive it in the name of jesus oh who can battle with the lord who who father we thank you for the victory for the victory for the victory over all the activities of the witches and wizards in the families, in the families. Mm. I decree that every of your family member whose destiny is rubbish, whose destiny has been suspended, has been captured because of witchcraft oppression. Oh God, that answer by fire. Answer and locate those men and women and rescue them. Rescue them. Snatch them. Snatch them. Snatch them from the pit, from the prison where they have locked them, where their destiny have been locked. Let the stars of people be released. Let the stars that have been locked and suspended, buried, let them be released. Let them be released. Let them be released in the name of Jesus. Let destinies of men and women and families be released, be released, be released in the name of Jesus. Let shackles of darkness be broken. And let the captives be set free in the name of Jesus. Father, we give thanks for what you have done. For arising to contend with them that contend against us. And giving us peace on every side. I cover everyone here with the blood of Jesus. I cover the breakthroughs and the the, the the blessings and the releases and the all that has been returned back, all that have been returned back, I cover them with the blood of Jesus. They shall not be rubbish or stolen anymore in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for stars of people are returned back to them. People's intelligence that we are hijacked are returned back to them. People's health, people's health are returned back to them. People's health and wholeness, people's marriages that have been invaded by the enemy, had been returned and rebuilt, returned and restored, returned and restored, returned and restored. Father, we thank you and we give you praise. New visions are rising. New visions are rising. People who have been, who have abandoned their dream, their vision, because of the vagaries of the adversary, those visions are restored once again. Those dreams are come back to life. Those dreams and visions are back to life. In the name of Jesus Christ, project that we are suspended, I renewed again, reactivated again, revisited again. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we thank you for all you have done. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.